no, nah, that's that's totally understandable. Um, I only game on this system because uh, you know, I'm look. It's one of these things where if things break, that's a video for me. Like that's that ultimately yeah. that's where what everything comes down to. This is why I run Arch. This is why I'm running like cutting edge weird window managers. Like I'm running Hyperland, which is like a Wayland system, and it's like it only has been good for the past maybe like a year or so. And I run this because if something goes down, if anything breaks, I can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that makes sense. You're optimizing. You're optimizing for your use case. Mm. Like I am super good at Vim. Mm -hmm. And I'm making a plugin called Vim APM to measure how good you are at typing it on Vim and using <laughs> motions. Like I'm optimizing for my own use case, yeah. right? Like it, that's all I care about. I think that's I think that's glorious that you're doing it, right? You're doing the perfect way to do it, which is I'm gonna live a life, mm -hmm. and this is the life I want to talk about, and that's what I want to do. Like I'm not gonna talk about Linux because I don't really know. Like I'm just not that educated on Linux. Like it's just not for me. But I'll I'll tell you all about Vim motions and tell you the optima optimal way to do things, right? Well, speaking of optimal ways to do things, you have sort of perfected the making videos from your stream sort of content. Like, you don't really do actual videos that much anymore. Like, I know, like, I, there's, hasn't there been, like, a couple? But yeah, I just released part... one a couple days ago. But, yeah, I, 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 I'm shooting for about 10 to 12 a year <laughs> me videos. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I release about 360 to 400 videos on my other channel a year. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how you do that. Like, I I can hold a conversation in something like this, but when I want to talk about something, especially if it's not React content, React content, I can obviously, like, you know, you can, you can wing that sort of stuff. But when there's an actual thing that you want to talk about, I have no idea how you manage to, like, actually keep a conversation going and keep it somehow coherent and not repeating the same thing over and over again yeah it's hard i have to really think about i actually think about that quite a bit is not repeating myself it's a it's such a danger when it comes to like live speaking <laughs> i it's very hard not to do it uh the react content's kind of cool because it's not like watching a funny video and me laughing or <laughs> you know making an emotion it's more like let's read this technical blog and let's <laughs> discuss why i think this is good or bad and that's like a fun way to do it i feel like because i you know the technical blogs are usually really happy that i do it because it highlights some great things uh people really like it because most people read like the headline in one paragraph and they don't read anymore so they just don't even get anything out of like the good stuff so it's <laughs> like i will i will be the morgan freeman narrator for you just without all the good voice and then we'll just talk about the ideas. I think it's a it's it's really fun and it's a great way to kind of go over a concept mm -hmm. without having um without having to do just a ridiculous amount of preparation. Because when I make a main channel video, you know, I'm spending 20 hours on a script alone trying to really come up with the idea. So mm -hmm. you, you know how it goes. Like produce content's very hard. Yeah. No, I I, I get it. Um... And I can hold a conversation with myself for hours. So. Yeah, and works. then someone. Chats. You know, it also helps that I did streaming for five years before I ever even started trying to do any of this. It's it's hard for me to call it React because it's not quite what modern mainstream would call React in the sense that it's I like I'm not watching a cat run into a wall. But nonetheless, it is most certainly React. So mm -hmm. it's been super fun. It's like it's been one of the funnest things ever. I'll be doing my first year of doing it will be February first. Wow. Yeah, the the style that you do is. You know, there's a lot of... We can mention any number of Twitch channels where it's just like, turn a video on, just, like, get some food. Like, um, um, um. Just like, yeah. nothing is being said. It's just, like, using the content as their content, basically. And then there's channels like Asmongold, where he'll take a five-minute video and somehow turn it into, like, an hour discussion. And that's sort of what you do in, like, He was also way. my inspiration was <laughs> for it, is that... After I started doing it, I started like looking up people and I just saw I just saw so much crap and I was like, I know there's something good out there. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of started watching some Asmin Gold stuff and I was like, okay, he's doing it exactly the way I want to do it, which is like use it as a platform and then go off the rails and just talk about the free flow and like challenge chat when chats like L take you bring them up on the big board and be like, all right, why? Yeah. And you make them be a part of the conversation too. And so it just makes everybody more engaged and want to be a part of the situation, which I think is just a lot of fun. I know you reached out to me with like the video that you're going to watch in mind, but is that something you normally do with your content or is that like, I try to on the videos. I try to on, on, on none of the uh, written stuff I do. Mm -hmm. I don't, 
I can't imagine most blogs are unhappy about that. Sure. Um, but a lot of the videos I'll try to reach out to just because I don't want to. Some people are sensitive. Sure. I had one person uh, give me a pretty good insulting for watching their content. Uh, I mean, despite I literally like after I did that, I gave many compliments and their channel grew by like 50 percent. Like they went from 20s of thousands to like 30s of thousands mm -hmm. for subscribers and got a lot more views and things were great. But they still just were so mad at me for looking at their content. So I was like, OK, I'm going to try to reach out first. For anyone I don't know, mm -hmm. just because I don't know. Sure. I can understand like why people get weird about it, especially when it's a new video, because some people feel like you watching it might be st like stepping over the views they would naturally get and it might get the make the video get less views but i don't know how anyone really says that after they see the impact that it has on their channel the only case where i could see it being a negative is if you or someone else was to like completely trash the video and then maybe i could see it but yeah, I yeah. try never to trash a video. Like, I'll say, ooh, I don't like that point, or I don't ever try to insult the person because I know that, in a sense, I hold a lot of their, like, quote-unquote future in my hands by doing this. Mm -hmm. And, like, that'd just be so rude of me. Like, if someone did that to me, I'd be very sad. Even if they were smaller or bigger than me, say something mean about me, I wouldn't like that. And my wife has been really a big kind of driving force in my life, saying, like, hey, you got to really be careful about how you say things and all that. Mm -hmm. And so I really, tr I really do try to, like, lift up the person and, and really grab out the things I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there was a video not too long ago that like I disliked probably 80% of it. And so I just focused, you know, at the end, really talk about that 20% and why I think that was a really well done part of it and all that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it can be tricky. It can be yeah. tricky because you don't want to ever, you don't want to like destroy someone. That'd be awful. And so it's like, how do you bring up somebody even if you aren't necessarily loving what you're watching? I think the only exception to that is when someone is trying to be actively malicious. Like, I've had yeah. I've had people where they're just blatantly... Like, they'll react to my video. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to react to your react. And it's like, they are blatantly lying about what I've said or trying to frame it in a way where this is... You, you know what they're doing. Like, they are not being... This is not it's a disingenuous genuine... Stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, that, that stuff, I, you got to handle differently. That one, I, I still don't know how exactly to handle that yeah. one yet. Uh, just because, you know, like, when I tweet something, it could get 1,000 or 2,000 likes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so when I tweet back at somebody for saying something mean or something like that, I don't really want a bunch of people dogpiling in. And so there was a recent uh, adventure I had with somebody um, who said mean things about me in a github thing and so i reached out to him privately and said yo let's like you should reach out to me first man and he was just like oh okay yeah you know hey sorry about that and all that and then like a week later called me a racist and so i was just like yo dog like why didn't you reach out to me first again i feel yeah. like we could have had this conversation it's a little bizarre that you did that uh and so he called a whole bunch of people that um anyways so it's just like that it's hard to handle well because it's like, how do I respond to this person? Mm -hmm. And is it even good to respond to the person publicly? Mm. Um, I don't know. I'm still pretty out on that one because, again, I, you know, like there's this thing that I have where, you know, people talk a lot these days about like punching down versus punching up. And my general take is if you think that punch is bad one direction, it might be bad both directions. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if I feel it's unfair to do it this way, but then someone hurts me, I really try to think about, do is this punch justified, or am I really, sure. you know, effectively in some sense, punching for vengeance and not for justice? Right, if somebody so, like, got, like, I got like 100 like, views, for example, it's like, do I really need to talk about this? Like, yeah, yeah. you're being, you're, this is stupid, but like, no one really yeah. cares. It's not going to affect me. Yeah. yeah. I, I get it, though. Like, it's... Like, I, it's hard not to. No, I. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Like, I, I get enough at my size, but I, I can only imagine at your size, it's, it's, a lot more people. There's obviously a lot more people being positive as well, but yeah, there's just as much more negative stuff, and it, it's hard to really work out how to handle that and like what you should do, and it, it's a learning process. Like most people just don't know how to deal with that much attention, and it, you know. You have to, you have to go through these things. You make mistakes, and eventually, you're like, okay, well, maybe this is a better way to handle this. 